Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Andrew Campbell with Holtec Gaming. Let's get to it. Here we are again. The Spirit Temple. Here we go. Yes, please. We are going to absolutely destroy this dungeon. I have spoken. <laughs> it's going to be a good time, guys. We're going to get that awesome mirror shield. We're going to... We're gonna set the night on fire. We're gonna we're gonna have a good old time, boys and girls. We certainly are. But first, I remember this being something. I don't remember exactly what, so forgive me, but I wanna look. Can you blame me? Is that just a drop down spot? It's probably just a drop down spot. Cool. I'm gonna take my frustration out on this abnormally large block. Now that we can move it with our silver gauntlets, the world's our oyster. We can we can push and pull and break stuff and just have a good old time. I'm telling you dudes and dudettes, it's a, it's oof. Just welcome back to Holtec Gaming, the land of the free and home of the brave. That's us. <laughs> I know, I know. Fret not, young ones. Let me be your guide to the world of gaming. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, he did. I say I tell you he did. <laughs> oh boy. I probably use that phrase one too many times, but it's just so funny. I think it's a I think it's a very early Family Guy reference if I remember right. I'm not entirely sure, but let's just go with that. It sounds about right. But I don't I don't know. I haven't watched Family Guy since I was in the service, to tell you the truth. And you might ask, what's your specific reasoning for that, Mr. Campbell? And to that I say, I just. You know, whenever they get some of the jokes that kind of developed in the in the seventh or eighth season, or they were very very horrible. <laughs> the jokes were not not bad jokes. They were just off color. Like they were cringe cringe jokes. Like uh, I I certainly do like like. I like fart jokes. I'm not a I'm not a complicated dude like that. Like I I, under, I, I really do appreciate the weird type stuff like that. But I, I'm not okay with rape jokes. Let's just say that. That's that's my reasoning for it. And uh, at the time, yes, I will absolutely admit that whenever I I saw it, I did laugh. I thought it was funny. But you know, like normal people usually do, you grow up a little bit. And then you realize that, that that type of thing is not okay. So, that's just kind of my policy on it. You know, potty humor is okay. Having a, having Quagmire drag an unconscious girl to a tool shed is not okay. You know? And I don't think that's really a controversial thing to say. I think that most of everybody who listened to my show actually might agree with me. At least I hope so. But we don't all have to agree. That's not what I'm trying to get at here. And no, I'm not trying to indoctrinate anybody into... Whoa, alright. Well, that's a gold sculpture. I'm not trying to indoctrinate anybody into my way of thinking. I just... It's against the law. That's one. If anything's against the law, it shouldn't be... Uh, viewed as uh, off-color to pop, or at least a taboo subject. It, it, it should be, because it's it's just, it's absolutely wrong on a social side, and plus it's super illegal, and if, I don't know, man. And just because you're making a joke about it doesn't mean that you're premeditating the action. I'm not saying that by any way, shape, or form. Just, I don't know, why am I, why am I trying to explain this very simple concept to you in such a way. Oh, man. Just, rape jokes aren't funny to me. Period. That's all I needed to say, I guess. But I'm just trying to let you guys know really my, my stance on it and what, why I say that. It's not okay. Now, if you want to tell me a good dick joke, 
hell yeah. Get flap them out, man. I can't wait. Love good dick jokes. Love, love, love uh, any time of type of good humor that you know doesn't uh, demean or belittle somebody, some gender, some you know anything. Not down for that. Gotta be careful for these like likes. I have lost my Hylian shield, and I have lost my uh, red tunic or blue tunic in that exact spot, just purely because I rushed in there and that damn thing dropped down and took it and ran off. And yeah, they can run away as soon as they as soon as they take something of yours, they get out of dodge because they're assholes. You know, they're they're they're. Is that a floor master? It's not a thigh master, I'll tell you that. <laughs> there we go, that should have done it. There we go. Well, it it died at least. Now the trick is well this isn't a trick. Some of these chests are tricks though. They're not uh, they're not good. They'll they'll hurt you. But we'll see. I'm gonna do what I can. But leave a comment. I want to know. There we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and should I? Shouldn't I? That's hard, isn't it? They're they're ah oh, man. Let's do it. Why not? I know they're. I know these are gonna be bad, but whatever. Hey, a heart. The next one's gonna freeze me, probably. Hey, look at that! Did it, uh, canceled out half of the heart that I just got. I'm happy with it, whatever, moving on. Outstanding recruit, oh, that thing's alive. Awesome. Go ahead and run up, yeah. So yeah, we're back to the area that we were at whenever we were a young lad. Super awesome, I know. Let's go ahead and put on our hover boots and give a good running start. There we go. Yeah, oh, yeah. You weren't. We definitely weren't supposed to make that jump, but we did it. So happy. Regular boots, please. And megaton hammer. Hell yeah. That opens up the center door. Good. That center door probably gives us a key. But we'll see. I really hope I stick this landing. Did I do it? Yeah, I did it. All right. Now I wonder. I wonder, wonder who ma do who. <laughs> I need to stop doing that song. All right. Let's go ahead and long shot over there. I know it's a long shot, but I think we can do it. Hey, we did it. Hell yeah, and we got a key. A key, a key! Alright, I know that's a scarecrow spot. I'm not too worried about it. It'll be okay. I could I could get back up. I could do this, can't I? Uh I could just do this. Mess that up. Either way. We can go up here and that scarecrow helps us get the gold sculptula. We don't even need to we don't even worry about the, the, the whole scarecrow biz. We've got the long shot, dude. This thing has such reach. Look at that. Such reach. Don't even need that, that scarecrow boy. All right, cool. So, can't go in there. There is, in fact, what was I gonna say? We can go in here for the switch that we just opened. I think we should go ahead and do that. Just cause, no specific reason. I do know that we have the key to open up that key door back there. That's probably the way we need to go, but this game kind of has you uh, doing stuff <laughs> and junk. So we're going to do that stuff and junk. It'll be all good. This is probably a loop around. This is exactly what this is. I remember this. This this uh, is a shortcut to the beginning of the level. If I remember right, I could be wrong. I don't think I am, though. It's not like it. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Megaton Hammer! Uh, I'm scared. 
I'm gonna look down there. Can I see anything? Ah. Well, let's give it a shot. Yeah, this is just the beginning of the stage. Totally. Absolutely. Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> let's go ahead and carry on. So, in case the, the terrible situation happens, we have a remedy for it. And I'm totally down for remedies. Isn't that a song name? What, what, what band does that? Is that a Seether, right? Remedy? I think that's a Seether song. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're down for Seether. <laughs> or whatever. Hey, a chest. Was this here before? Well, it's here now. Blue Rupee. That, that was probably what was supposed to happen. That chest was dropping down. I'm supposed to use the uh, long shot to get to it instead of using the hover boots like a boss. Didn't get it that time, but it's okay. Hell yeah. Twin Rover, we're coming for you, baby. Your days are numbered. Ooh, I love this part. This is fun. Okay, let's go ahead and do some bomb skis, shall we? Bombski Brewskis. You ever seen that uh, Ted movie where they're they're doing the ah? You just watch Ted. You'll immediately know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not gonna bore you guys with my my terrible explanations. Okay, there are a few of these things floating around, huh? All right. Well, since this is what it is, let's just go ahead and uh, do the obvious thing here. Hopefully it gets all three of them. I have no idea if that's what's going to happen. It did not. We'll get them this time. Maybe. We've got plenty of magic at this point, so it should be all good. Yay, we did it. Outstanding. I don't know why I'm going for the rupees. It's, it's an impulse. I apologize. There's a key there. Locking on to this guy doesn't kill me, that's good. By kill me, I mean screw up my view to where I fall down into the dark abyss, that's what I mean. Okay, so we killed all the enemies. Whoop whoop. So that allows us to exit. This switch, if I remember right. Well, that doesn't allow us to exit, that's the way we need to go. Yeah, okay. It, it sets fire to that. Cool. Let's go ahead and proceed, shall we? Ooh, this one, this one's kind of tricky. This one is definitely kind of tricky. You guys want to know how I do it? <laughs> it's the dumbest way possible, and you're, you'll see here in a second. So, obviously, that opens that, right? Okay, cool. Check this out. So, you piss these assholes off. Yes, I know, this is going to be dumb. This is going to be super dumb, and you're going to hate it. But you piss these guys off, and then you run like hell and open the door. That's what you do. Isn't that cool? Do you respect me more for knowing how to do the... Whoa. Look at the dungeon map. That's why I stopped. Apparently, there are some invisible chests here. Perhaps. Yeah. See? Perception is reality, baby cakes. You gotta, you gotta look at your stuff. You gotta look at your maps, and you gotta throw up some claps. So there you go. You get you get two hearts because we're gonna have to fight an iron knuckle again. But luckily enough, and this is really cool. I love the the, the, the white armor in the uh, in Ganon's tower. Careful! Ah, oh, got hit. Super okay though. Super okay. In Ganon's Tower, there's a room where there are two Iron Knuckles. One is white, one is black, and I absolutely love it. Because, you know, the whole Dark Knight, White Knight type dynamic, super awesome. Hey, I killed it relatively easy. Isn't it nice to have a giant Gorn sword? I certainly think it is. So, what do we do? What do we get? Oh my god! What's gonna happen? Hey, a chest! So, to answer your question, enjoy the cutscene. 
Mirror shield! Hell yeah! You found the mirror shield. This shield's polished surface can reflect light or energy. Press R to use it. I don't know why it told you how to use your shield, but it totally did. Now, the trade-off, whenever you're using the mirror shield, whenever you guard with the big Gorn sword, you, you don't raise your shield. So you have to put your sword away to be able to use it. So there's just an extra button press to be done whenever you're doing this. So, you know, just keep it in mind if you ever have to learn how to do it my way. I just, I really like, uh, I really like using the big Gorn sword. And again, this is the reason why I like the red tunic. Look at the red gloves, I got the big Gorn sword, the, the back of the mirror shield is red. We're Link Red Boys, dude. It's fucking, excuse me, sorry. It's perfect, in my opinion. I really do appreciate that this, this outfit comes together very nicely. Color coordination is a plus. And plus, it looks really good in this dungeon where we have all agreed unanimously, because I didn't get any comments about it, that this dungeon is uh, very warm colors. It's browns, oranges, reds, yellows, and it fits what Link's wearing right now. So I'm super down for it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're also super down. And here we go. Here we go into the wild blue yonder. I need to stop singing the air for song. Yeah, it's just so catchy, right? And I think really it, it's it's definitely more modernized than the uh, the other service songs, purely because the damn thing was written in 1945. You know what I mean? Whoops, that was my fault. I thought I was on its way back already. But here's the trick, right? And I probably, actually, I take that back. Before I do anything stupid. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I remember you. And you can also use this. Well, I, I kind of did that on purpose. I kind of didn't do that on purpose. I want to see how high I can actually long shot. Can I just long shot all the way up there? I sure as hell can, man. That's that's the way you're supposed to do that. <laughs> just long shot it. Hell yeah. And you gotta be careful for those big old bruiser brodies, cause they'll uh they'll zap you. They'll zap you right off the edge. Okay, here we go. What's this? And I need to stop asking what's this, cause you guys are uh was is this needed? I'm pretty sure this isn't needed, but we're gonna do it anyway. Not quite sure. Excited nonetheless. I'm percolating. I'm titillated. <laughs> I'm percutitillated. Okay. This is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. <laughs> oh, God. I love that song so much. But I absolutely love her when she smiles. So. I believe this is the boss key room, which is why I'm happy that we decided to come in here. Uh, well, I guess we're just going to bomb it up. I know, not very exact placement for the bombs, but it's fine. Rome wasn't built in a day, and I'm definitely not going to learn how to throw bombs perfectly, <laughs> ever. It's all good though. We're moving right along. We're about at 19 minutes. Uh, this, I, I, I might make this a, a good solid, uh, what am I missing here? Oh, there we go. Look up, young man. Look up. I think I'm not going to, I'm not going to do Twin Rova in the next episode, to tell you the truth. I think I might just go ahead and do it. Twin Rover's a super fun boss. We're gonna be really, we're gonna be a lot of time though. I hate to do this, but we might actually end the episode here. I hate to do it though. Well, just know that in episode 33, the beginning is going to be me uh, squaring off against Twin Rover. So, everybody who's not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. 
Everybody who watched this video and you liked it and appreciated it, please leave me a like. Comment, let me know what I'm doing right, let me know what I'm doing wrong. All comment types are enabled, so cuss me up and down, I don't really care. As long as you're commenting, that's what matters. Alright guys, I'm Andrew Campbell with Holtec Gaming. Next time, Twin Rova. Get there, let's do this. Bye-bye.